right about now is hashtags and faith is here to bring us hashtag hello faith Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm here again, sure, I am here yeah. to bring you trends from all over social media. Yes. I must say, you guys look so nice. Thank, Thank you. you. I like the vibe. Uh -huh. The screen is very shiny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, what's trending? Yeah. So much is yeah, trending that we have to like, bring. Unfortunately, the first story today is not mm. very shiny. It's rather more ridiculous than anything, if you ask me. <laughs> and we took the story yesterday, but between yesterday and today, mm. or between yesterday and today mm. yeah, 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 yeah in a few in a space of a few hours, hours it yeah. has really blown up to be an independent story so mm. we took it under all eyes on the judiciary yesterday but today it is Bulkachua. everybody is talking about Bulkachua and other things mm. now tweets addressing the famous uh, senator Bulkachua's video had garnered over fifteen thousand reactions as at noon yesterday Senator Adamu Mohamed Bukachua, representing Bauchi North Senatorial District, has revealed some of the most shocking information that he had influenced legislative procedures for his colleagues and party members by encroaching on his wife's office. We say, like we said yesterday, his wife, Zena Bukachua, is a retired justice of the appeal court who bowed out of the bench after clocking the statutory retirement age of 70 years for justices of the appeal court in 2020. Today we'll be taking a look at the video, so take a listen. My wife, whose freedom and independence I encroached upon while she was in office. And she has been very tolerant and accepted my encroachment and extended her help to my colleagues. Uh, so wish. Please, uh, I don't think this is a good idea going in this direction. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Please. Let's take reactions first and then we'll come back to Exactly. So the first person says, at, Ahmad, at Dr. Ahmad Lawan needs to be arrested too for interrupting a national confession that would usher in a better justice in judiciary. Why is DSS quiet? Why is the police quiet? quiet another person had this to say he said the rate these guys turned good to bad and bad to good eh, is so disturbing somebody is confessing and you are telling him it's not a good idea like how now another person says why not allow him finish and probably mention the names of his good friends that were helped by his wife through him i think that we i think that would have been a very good idea Another person said, Senate president was uncomfortable. He was spilling the beans publicly. Nigerians got the message. Stopping him was in futility. And our final reaction in this story, this person says, have you heard of the saying, God walks in mysterious ways? Elrify said his own. This man now said his own. All points to the fraudulent elections. Two things are involved. Either Peter Obi reclaims his mandate or Nigeria breaks into other countries okay into tiny other countries all right well. all right so we're moving on to another person doing some crime and facing some backlash and our next story is in the united states of america a group of people who are observing a special month in you know the rest of the world let's go straight into it now the white house has released a statement after public outcry against the indecent behavior of trans men and others hosted at the white house Completely ignoring the host of other events and initiatives associated with the month of June, which we have, I mean, amongst them, we have Men's Health Month, we have PTSD Awareness Month, we have Gun Violence Awareness Month, there's also Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness for the month of June, amongst other things. But the Biden administration hosted Pride celebrations instead on the southern lawn of the White House, inviting thousands of members of the LGBTQ community to celebrate. But after a trans man decided to strip exposing his surgically, surgically built top half, the event previously criticized, garnered a lot of backlash. The White House immediately released a video saying, or a statement rather saying that, and I quote, this video, this behavior is inappropriate and disrespectful for any event at the White House. Individuals in this video will not be invited to future events. But when asked about it, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says, that transgender influencer who posed topless at the White House was, and I'm quoting again, unacceptable, unfair, not appropriate, and disrespectful. It really does not reflect the event 
that we host it. But the person, I mean, I will, we'll go right into the comments in a, in a few minutes, but the person or the accused party thought it fits to release a video. So let's take a look at what she, he had to say. It's recently come to my attention that conservatives are trying to use the video of me topless at the White House to try to call the community groomers, etc. And I would just like to say that, first of all, going topless in Washington, D.C. is legal. And I fully support the movement in freeing the nipple because why is my chest now deemed inappropriate or illegal when I show it off. However, before coming out as trans, it was not. All you're doing is affirming that I am a woman. All you're doing <laughs> is saying that trans women are women because for some reason, people like to sexualize women's bodies and say that they are inappropriate. My trans masculine friends were showing off their top surgery scars and living in joy. And I wanted to join them. And because it is perfectly within the law in Washington, DC, I decided to join them because I wanted to be fully free and myself. I had zero intention of trying to be vulgar or be profane in any way. I was simply living in joy, living my truth and existing in my life. So let's look at the comments. Let's look at what people had to say in reaction to this video. So the first person says, and the person is cursing, he says, we had a party at my house to glorify thieves, but shockingly, several items were stolen. This does not reflect the event we hosted. It is so simple. The next person says, it absolutely does reflect the event. It's like they don't even know what they're celebrating. We all deserve an apology. Hmm. Another person says, repulsive, shameful, embarrassing, humiliating. This is a disgrace to our nation and a disgrace to us. Topless trans people at the White House. What incredible representation for the world to see. And people in our community really wonder why anti-LGBT sentiment is growing. It's not difficult to understand. This person says, listen carefully. People with no moral compass always rely on laws or the government as their barometer for what is appropriate. That's why when they turn to government, that is why they turn to government whenever they have a grievance. Without God, the state is the almighty. Normal people don't see a law, to, don't need a law to tell them what is decent or not. And finally, we have this one that says, typical, bad actor does something socially unacceptable that Marxists have tried to normalize. People react because they are sick of being socially engineered. Bad actor plays victim. How dare you be offended that I flashed my fake tits on the White House lawn? Rinse and repeat. Thank you so much, Faith. Yes, Beautiful you. You know, item. I love to bring you today. stories that would trigger conversations here and exactly. trigger conversations in your life. I love them. Bring it on yeah. all the so time. Trust you know, that I'll that. keep bringing you trends <laughs> from social media that you need to be seen. Thanks. Thank you for having me. All right. And Thank that's you. the much you can bring on hashtag. But of course, we'll be bringing you news now shortly after this. Don't go away.